Today I want to take you along on a ride on what are affectionately called the Mercedes Pontons. I won't get into in this video why they're called that, but they're the classic old round bodied Mercedes that you see here that were produced in the 1950s and right up to early 1960s. This one right here is a 1959 180D, four cylinder diesel. And this blue one here is a 1959 220SE, has a six cylinder fuel injected gas engine. This will be a two part video. We'll start out by taking you out in the 180D and, so, and show you the extreme performance of this little sweetheart. These aren't stock. First thing I want to show you is the starting sequence on this old diesel. It's a little different than most cars. In fact, it's really different. And I often laugh and tell people I don't have to worry about people ever stealing this car. They would never be able to figure out how to get it started. The sequence begins by turning the key on right there. You'll get the indicator light that your ignition is on. Then I'm going to reach for the glow start lever and I'm going to move it into the mid position. And at that point, I will watch the glow indicator light right over here until it lights up. And as soon as it glows red, then I'll push the lever all the way down into the start position. And there she goes. And right over here, I've got an idle control. And if the engine's cold, I can idle it up a little bit or I can turn it this way and idle the engine down. And we'll sit here and let it warm up a little bit. And then I'll reach down right here, emergency brake, and pull and twist and release the emergency brake lever. Now you're looking at all these switches are a little different uh, than most of the new cars. This does have a manual four-speed transmission. First gear is back and up. Okay, I think we're ready to roll here. I use the clutch out. One of the things I really like driving about this, uh, this 180D is the car only has 73,000 original miles on it. So the steering's tight, the shift linkage is tight, um, the whole suspension is tight in the car, and it really is fun to drive for an old 50s era. Now you notice as I'm sitting here waiting at traffic, I can turn the idle speed down a little bit. Now you have to be aware of traffic when driving this. In other words, you need to look a half a mile down the road so you don't pull out into traffic and get somebody angry at you. But you know, it, it's not going to throw you back in the seat, but you can see here I'm right up to 40, 45 miles an hour right now cruising along with uh, semi-modern traffic, so to speak. I wish you could be in the car with me right now so you could see how smooth this car rides. It's got the old fashioned blinkers. We'll turn on the blinker to turn left, shift down into third. Now that it's warmed up, I'll go ahead and show you a little bit uh, better of the acceleration here. Notice you only get about 20 feet in first gear. We're in second, get up to about 30, shift into third. And when I get up to about 45, I shift into fourth. Transmission shifts very smoothly, and the engine has really good power for an old 180 four zone. This is the kind of car you just want to go cruising in, especially on a nice day like it is today. Now I'll demonstrate the turning radius. Okay. It's floored right now. One of the things I really like driving in this area is a good spot of Mount Baker out there. It's just a beautiful day today.
Now this car doesn't have a lot of power, but it sure gets good mileage. This thing is pretty close to 40 miles to the gallon when you're tuned right and out cruising on the freeway at 55 to 60 miles an hour. Notice the engine is idled up here, so I'll go ahead and adjust the speed down even a little lower. For those of you who have driven the old 220 and, and 180Ds, I mean correction, 220 and 240Ds, you know the joke about uh, cleaning the bugs off the rear window? Well, it's even worse on a 180. It has pretty good braking compression if you need to use it. Pull back into the farm here and hope you enjoyed a little short cruise in this little sweetheart. We'll get ready to take you out in the larger S-Class Ponton next. Okay, now the turn-off sequence is a little different. Notice I can't turn the key off. The key won't go off. So I have to, I have to shut the engine off with a lever first, then I can turn the key off and remove the key.